All right. Now, every now and then, if we want to actually organize party, let's say wedding, burial, anyone, we need the services of an event planner. But sometimes we fail to understand, say, come, this business, or rather this industry too, gets your own challenges. And that's why we get this casual guest in the house, in our event planner, and go some trust, all the things that we need to know about event planning. Jeremy, welcome. Akan Unyongin say inside the house. Good to have you. Very much. Good morning. I'm very happy to be here. Too. Okay, so first of all, as a man in this industry with a female dominated, I, I mean, because a lot very of event true. planners are women, um, okay. how do they take manage to to keep your clients or to get your clients or to even impress your clients, especially if not the first time with the person they do the okay. services with you? Personally speaking, I would say um, being a man, it's harder for a man to get jobs than the female counterpart. But um, I think I've survived on having good effects when I do my job. I get job based on referrals whenever I do my thing. So it's something that just doesn't end. As long as we do events and we have at least three to 400 guests in an event, who, and you should get like 10 to 15 people who appreciate your job. At the end of the day, the next week and the week that follows, you're starting to get clients. How long you done there for the industry? How long? Well, eight years now. Wow, eight years. Now, what do you be studying for school with this? No. Mass communication from Mashuda Dera Polytechnic. All right, now, like, in as much as say, in a female dominated, we see a lot of men still making it inside the industry. Now, why event planning in the first place? Is it that you notice, say, there are lapses in some of the events where we organize, for example, we'll go to Nigeria? Why event planning? Okay, not that. Um, I just knew from my days, even in secondary school, that I'm not going to be a white collar job person. Okay. I would prefer doing things on my own and be a CEO of my own company. So it has been something I started from the start. I started with photography while in secondary school, and after secondary school, I did something that had to do with events until eight years ago when I decided to train on events planning and decoration. Now, if you look at, because um, a lot of young people now, they rather finish school and go and look for a white collar job or go find work. And with the course where you read, you read mass communications, you be tell your parents, say, no, be the course where you be want to read for school, be that. Or you just decide to do, I'm just to fulfill all righteousness <laughs> and so pursue your, your own passion at the end of the day. You're very right about that. I did it to fulfill all righteousness because it was necessary for me to be educated. But as a matter of fact, I already had it as my plan to go into event business. And I'm really glad I'm doing that right now. So how important is an event planner when it comes to having an event? Because some people, they look and say, why must I, I feel do everything by myself now. Nobody to get cake, nobody to get drink, nobody to get Maya food or everything. Actually, I arrange how, why is it so important to have a planner for any event? Okay, in every event, um, it's very important to have a planner because in most cases, you will notice, say, if you go events where event planner no run, there are always lapses where will come up. Things could just happen because you don't get the experience where they follow in every day. It's something that happens in five hours officially, but the preparation, they take a while. And so if it be your line of duty, it's always hard for you to guess what thing will happen during the event. So to avoid disappointment during the event, that's why it's very important to have an event plan there. All right, how lucrative is this industry? Because like you talk, we get every day with the CM online, more people they enter inside the industry. How lucrative in this industry be? Yeah, hey, it is quite lucrative, even if um, I must confess that it is quite stressful too, but it is very lucrative. Once you know the do's and don'ts of the business, it is lucrative. But if you don't, uh, it go hard for you. Um, in every line of trade, there's always a secret. Once you can get what the secret is, the sky is the limit. So now, we're not saying your business now service-based service-based um, <laughs> business at this point in time. I don't know if you can reveal the secret of this service-based industry where you're actually they in. Um, what is the secret where you don't actually discover so far? Okay, the secret I've discovered so far is um, the ability to be creative is very necessary. You need to do something entirely different from what every other person does. You can do something conventional. So where you gather your own level of creativity? Well, it's from God. It's not from anywhere. Wow. He appears to you spiritually? Uh, not spiritually. Do I do some online studies and get to learn new things okay. from um, people abroad and some other mentors in Nigeria because I'm still very young in the business. I have the big dogs up there that I'm looking up to. So I learn from them. And sometimes I steal some tricks from them, but um, the creativity comes from God, honestly. I want to pick a particular thing where you talk. You say if you understand the do's and don'ts of the industry, you will surely, surely make plenty of money. Now, Give us the do's and don'ts of this industry, especially for those where they watch you now, where they plan of going into the industry. What are the do's and don'ts in event planning? Uh, one thing is you must understand what your client needs. Uh, 
once you've been able to have a one-on-one -on -one discussion with your client, um, you need to really understand this person, the person's personality, which in in Billy want. With that, you go no say once once you don't do it, you go satisfy them. There will be so much joy filled in the air, and you'll be highly appreciated. And what will happen is that following that event, you get to get calls on and on and on. That's it. What about in some cases where the clients not even know which they want, but because they just need the services of an event planner, can okay. you just plan my event for me? Okay, as a matter of fact, um, upon meeting you one-on-one -on -one and having a five-minute chat with you, I could tell the kind of person you are. So I just say, I have something that is really, really nice for you. I know what to fit you. For a service-based industry, I mean, um, people we we want to enter into this kind of business now. A lot of a lot of time for business in general, people they fear to enter because of startup. But for you, eight years ago, how much you use this startup, this service, where you where you don't get that experience on top? So, okay, if I must confess, I started with um, nothing at the start. Nothing at I started all. Started from the scratch. I started by being an events decorator for senior decorators. So I was more like a jobber man. So you do apprentice work? Uh, it's not even apprentice. Okay, I first trained, you know. Uh -huh. After training, I started to do this small, small job. That is, you work on that people. I was exactly. a draper. You understand? So we start from that, and gradually, I just... Okay, the trainings I had taught me that you need to buy. You don't rent everything. Once you can afford to buy something, buy it. But the training is free. Yours. You do the trainings, or you be paid for those trainings? I paid for one of the trainings. Um, initially, it was free, but I had to go for an upgrade. So um, I just got to understand that you just need to buy some things gradually, gradually. And that is what has really helped me because when I started working and started earning 5, 10, 15K, I would just gather, I used to get a bundle of fabric and sometimes go for flowers, sometimes go for light. And on the gradual note, I just used that style of training I got and started gathering things and decided becoming mine and you know, gradually things started to increase. Um, room wasn't built in a day. Mm -hmm. it started gradually and with Tango we are here now. So what's some of the challenges? Because now the reason why I asked about the challenges now because I know of a few friends of mine where they say they will see some kind of event decor uh, for Bodo Yibo and then they will give them to so an Nigeria, event planner here in Nigeria. Nigeria give me exactly what I see. Are there challenges in this industry in Nigeria? Yes, they are. They are. One of the challenges is not everybody has an international passport to go abroad and get the kind of materials you see out there. But one thing we can do is be creative. Most of these things we use to are imported. So we do quite some nice jobs, no doubt. But you may not get exactly like what you got from a picture abroad. Obodo Ibu people are different from Nigeria. Nigeria we do. Uh -huh. <laughs> so the one way we give you good nice, no doubt. We can replicate it and it will look that nice, no doubt. But don't think it's exactly what you see there, you see here. You don't know the kind of light that they use for there. Yeah, now, nah, normal bulb with the use fluorescent light. Do you know the kind of light they use there is entirely different. So sometimes it's even picture effect. We could use the same material, but it's picture effect that makes it different. So we do even some, in most cases, I've seen some pictures that are done abroad, and we, what we do here is much better than theirs, you know, but I think picture quality and effect, now they make a blessing, say it's too big. We said they try, go for here. <laughs> All right, so for, uh, for anybody who will enter this industry or will enter any service-based industry really similar to what you they do um, and um, they don't know where to start, they don't know how to go about and they don't even know whether or not they can step in or they can step out, what if you tell them um, as a piece of advice? Okay, this is a very lucrative business, I must say. So um, never give up in anything you do, whether in events planning or any other thing. Don't give up. Just remain hardworking and creative and with time, you reach the limit you're expecting and even the sky will be your starting point. Thank you very much, Akwan Young Ense. And me. thank you so much. Say you, Akan, sorry. Yes, Akan. Young Ense. Ense. Okay. Yes, yes. Um, we're talking more about event planning today. Thank you very much. You get yeah. Instagram handle with people if you follow you. Yes, I do. My Instagram handle is at Fab and Flower, F A B N Flower. And um, I was supposed to introduce something. I just okay. um, met some arrangement with some couple of friends and business partners. And we got to realize that um, not every a um, Nigerian couple can afford to pay for a typical, well-planned wedding. Mm -hmm. So we came across this concept. We just thought of it and it came, just turned out well. It's called the Easy Word Concept. Easy Word. Easy Word Concept. Easy Word Concept. Now, this concept is aimed at helping um, young couples 
who are hoping to get married, but um, different challenges are coming up from one part to the other. Financial, family, this, planning, mm -hmm. they're just confused. They may think their budget is too small or they can't afford to. We have decided that we are going to give them our links. Like, you're going to follow me on Instagram at Fab and Flower, and you send me messages, we get to talk. We need to make you understand that this high mountain you're seeing out there can be brought to a level ground once you can come to so us. So you work with their budget? We work you work with their budget. Whether that's not 20,000, you work with once them. You understand. Once you come with your budget, we tell you how we can work. I like the that. The difference between your pocket and your budget is you. That's true. You right. can decide what your budget can do I for totally you. like that. Now, if you get small budget and you want to do a, a wedding and you don't get a, a plenty of money for the, the decor where you want, follow them. Follow them on top of Instagram. Very nice one, which they do. And Fiber and Flower? At Fab, Fab and, and Flower. F-A-B-N Flower, letter N. F-A-B-N and Flower. flower. Follow flower. them and then easy to wear, right? Yeah. Yes, easy yes. wear. Easy, easy wear. wear. Easy the concept wear. All easy about. Wear. Thank All right, thank so you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All right, let's go on a quick break. The beautiful NGBK Ogula, they don't start that gym to sound you some things where they happen for inside the news. Stay with us. To enjoy more of this, our Ogunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.